Hello and welcome back to Planning with Jamie. Today I am going to take you along as I plan out my content for Planning with Jamie for the month of February. If this is something that interests you, please come along with me. So last month I had pre-planned all of my different videos and I ended up making like a little bullet journal thing here that said what it was and then I put plan film if I took the picture for the thumbnail if I edited did the thumbnail uploads link schedule and share on Facebook and so after I was done I could come in and I could cross off so I do think I'm still going to do one of these for February but in the grand scheme of things I want to see a big month view of this so this extension pack did come undated and so they did give me some boxes with dates and I think we are going to go ahead and go with pink for February. All right, the month of February started on a Tuesday so I am just going to start here and proceed to put all the days of the month. All right, now that we have all the days of the month already in there, we're going to go ahead and we are going to put a little stamp of a camera with my stamp pad on the days that I know I have scheduled items. So I really like to be like a scheduled person. And so I know that I have Fitness Friday and that's the day that I do my fitness plan with me for the following week. So here on the 4th, it will be for the week of the 7th through the 13th. On the 11th, it will be for the week of the 14th through the 20th and so forth and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and put a camera in each of these squares so that it denotes that I know I have a video coming out that day. All right, the other day of the week that I do stuff that is scheduled is Sunday. Sunday, I always give you the plan with me and my big happy planner for the following week. So like here on Sunday the 6th, it'll be for the week of the 7th through the 13th. Here on the 13th, it'll be for the week of the 14th through the 20th. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to put the little camera box right in the upper corner, just like I did for the Friday. And again, this denotes to me that I have a video due for that day. Those are for sure the two days that I really want to do it. I, like I said, I am very much so a routine, a schedule girl, and I love having a deadline, and that way it holds me accountable to you guys. Now, every now and then, life might happen, and you know, I might not get the video out on the exact day, but I really enjoy the thought of definitely doing it. So the other thing that I want to end up doing is doing a work Wednesday. Now, I'm not quite sure if this is going to be every single Wednesday, but I have a social media planner, hence what this is from, that I've been doing and I thought it could be kind of fun to bring you guys along for it. Now, I'm not positive if I'm going to do a video every single week in it or every other week. For now, we'll schedule it in for every single Wednesday will be a work Wednesday, so a social media Wednesday. Then on the first of the month, I know that I want to throw out a, a plan with me for a big month. And so I did give you guys that video yesterday. If you have not watched it, I will link it up in the cards. It was Mickey and Minnie for February because they have a true love that will last the test of time. And I absolutely loved it. I think it turned out so, so great. 
So the other thing that I want to bring to you guys is after the pin big. Now you guys really enjoy when I write in the planner and so I'm thinking because those videos take longer to film, like I have to check in either twice per day, morning and night, or once per day, which is what I did this last week just at night. I'm thinking every other week is probably going to be my tops right now because as you guys know, I also have a second YouTube channel and it just becomes too much videos at some point in time. And I also have a whole bunch of other videos that I want to throw in here. So usually my after the pins are going to be on Tuesday, but because I had thrown you guys the, the first was on a Tuesday, and I had thrown you guys the Mickey and Minnie monthly. I ended up releasing the after the pin today, which is February 2nd. So we're gonna put a second block right there. So this one will be the work Wednesday, which is the video we are filming right now. And then this one will be the after the pin big from last week. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a camera in each of these boxes because I have extra things that I want to show you guys. A lot of you guys have requested a flip through of my January fitness um, and so I want to get that to you which I think is so interesting. I also need to do a monthly fitness calendar, like the whole calendar like this one is. And so I kind of have just too many videos planned for where they will land out. All right, let me put my stamping stuff away and then we will start writing in what videos we are going to be working on. So let's go ahead and start. So the one yesterday was for my monthly calendar and that was in my big planner. And here you'll see I have a big planner, I have a social media planner, I have a fitness planner, and then maybe coming here pretty soon, I have a menu planner that I ended up buying. Guys, I need to quit buying planners. This is an issue. All right, and then let's go ahead actually and throw in like these Fitness Friday ones because those are nice and easy. So this will be the plan with me and that will be for the dates of the 7th through the 13th, so 713 fit. So that means my fitness planner. Then we have plan with me 14th through the 20th fit. Then plan with me, so P W M is plan with me. We have the 21st through the 27th fit fitness planner. And then down here we have the plan with me, 28th through, it'll be the 6th of March, and again, fitness planner. So there, our Fridays are taken care of, and then the other really easy one to take care of is our Sundays. So plan with me, 7th through 13th in my big, and I'm sorry if you guys can't see as I'm writing, like I kind of hold my hands straight and I know it does end up blocking the view, um, but there's just not a better way to go about it sometimes. So this one will be plan with me 14th through the 20th in my big. This one will be plan with me 21st through the 27th in my big. And then last but not least, plan with me 28th through the sixth in my big happy planner. So there are the ones that are really set in stone. And then, like I said, I wanted to do, like I wanna do a work Wednesday. Um, so definitely this one is going to be um, the social media February monthly. So let's put monthly. So I'm trying to think what I want to call it. Do I want it like SM for social media? Do I just want it called social or do I want it called work? Um, and I think let's call it social because I feel like a lot of people understand exactly what that is. So I am doing the monthly in my social media and then I already put out the after the pin for 
January 24th through the 30th and that was in my big happy planner so that one is live just a few hours ago so um, double video day for you guys I feel like at the beginning of the month there's really a lot of videos that we want to put out there's like the currently page and maybe a flip flip through and a monthly and meaning I have more than one planner it ends up dedicating even more videos out so this will be a plan with me and it'll be the social but let me figure out the dates here all right so I think to keep everything even I'm going to do a plan with me the 7th through the 13th because the dashboard runs Monday through Sunday um, so plan with me social media for the 7th through the 13th then this one will be plan with me the 14th through the 20th social and this one will be plan with me the 21st through the 27th social now at any time any of these can change or I can like add to them if we get a little bit bored like if I don't have anything new and interesting coming out for you guys I could do a different one but I think it's kind of interesting to see how youtubers plan their stuff all right so for the after the pen I've already been writing in my for the 31st through the 6th and I have not recorded any of that so the earliest I could do is the 7th through the 13th so it would go right here so after the pin 7th through 13th and that is in my big happy planner and then we won't have another after the pin for that month so here I just have a few gaps to end up filling, which doesn't seem that hard actually because I want to do the fitness monthly page. So I think I can throw this one in because I have monthly big, monthly social, and let's throw in monthly fit right here. Now that does throw me off a little bit because I like all my fitness stuff to be on a Friday but I feel like I need to um, fit that in somewhere towards the beginning of the month and that's where the opening is. Then the other thing that I think I want to bring you guys, which means I'm gonna have to throw in another extra one, is you guys are asking for a January flip through of my fitness. I think let's give you a bonus Saturday video here so we could do the plan with me fit and then the next day let's go ahead and put a stamp on there and we are going to do a January fitness flip through because you guys are requesting that and that being said um, <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed to do it because like my diet isn't the best and everything but yet we're all on this journey together and I think it's just really interesting to see what others are doing. So January flip through, and that will be for the fitness one. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one open because maybe I'll throw in uh, some of my bullet journal type stuff that I've been doing. So I have like a Monday weigh-in for quarterly. So there was quarter one, here's quarter two. Um, I have made this weight loss journey tracker as a bullet journal item. And then um, there was a habit tracker, but as you can see, like I, I didn't really fill it in. I felt like I had enough to hold me accountable. And then this is the Beach Body program, Let's Get Up, that I've been doing. And so I made one so that I can cross it off. And then I put little stars to say which ones I liked more than others and what date I did it. Um, and then I made one for Morning Meltdown for Beach Body also because I'm doing that program along with this program. And so I made one with like a hundred different boxes. And then like I do these video ones. I really like doing bullet journal items. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this box down definitely open so that it gives me some freedom to do that and I mean maybe in this flip through I'll show you more in depth a lot of those different ones I made for the month of January. All right so the next thing I need to do is I color code all of my videos based on what planner they are going into and actually real quick I need to change one of these because this is the absolute mom color it gets this purple one and I'm not including that in my work planner well I am but it's going to have its own dedicated month and its own dedicated dashboard because I just feel like uh, there's too much to write and it's not all going to fit in a classic size 
All right, so I decided my work planner, the social media one, is going to be this beautiful color. So all these are the mild liner, um, double-ended. So it's got a really thin point, like a fine point. And then it has a bold point. And I really, really love these colors. Um, they really make me happy. And so these are the three colors we're gonna go with. So my big one is this beautiful pink color. My social one will be this teal aqua color. And then my fitness one is this pretty blue color. So all I do is I end up highlighting right underneath it. Like that's a fit one, that's a fit one. Fit, fit, fit and fit and that way when I'm looking at this calendar I know if I'm giving you guys enough content for my fitness planner or enough content for my big happy planner just trying to keep everything not so much completely balanced but make sure I give you enough of each planner and if it comes a day where I can't give you enough for a certain planner then maybe I have too many planners I need to drop one so the next color I'm going to do is the pink one and that's dedicated to my big monthly so here's a big big Sundays are dedicated to the big one. So I end up putting it on Sunday because I want to get it to you before the week comes out. And maybe you guys are doing planning. If there is a better day of the week, like maybe you guys want this on, you know, Thursday or something. Like tell me if there's a different schedule. Also, let me know what time of day do you guys mostly want these videos to drop out? So sometimes I like to put them out first thing in the morning so that they're sitting there waiting for you to watch. And then other times I do it at night because I think, hey, maybe you're all done with work or whatever busy life that there is. And so let me know which, like what direction, all right? Social is going to be the pretty aqua, teal, whatever color you want to call this. And so, yeah, that looks pretty balanced. I mean, social doesn't have as much, but I'm just starting that. And then this one, like I said, I will decide here shortly, like throughout the month, what it'll end up being. All right, so I wanna get a few decorations going in here. I don't want anything that's too extravagant by any means. Um, I am going to go ahead and put this make big plans because this is my planning, my content planner. Then I also want to denote what channel that this monthly planner is for. And while it's pretty obvious because there's all the plan with me's and after the pin and such, I did last time end up writing planning with Jamie up here and YouTube content planner and stuff. And I thought it turned out really cute. So this was January's monthly, and this was my first time ever doing it, and I really enjoyed it. And then down here in the top priorities, I'm gonna put some goals I have for this month. Definitely not perfect, but we're looking for functionality more than we're looking for perfection. I am gonna look for a cute little sticker to put right there. Here in the tiny um, little icons one, I know there's a whole bunch of planners in the back and I think that'll be a really cute touch right here. Um, plan on it. And we have a lot of pink already, so I think let's do right here. All right, we're gonna do this pink, white, and black plan on it. We'll cover up Saturday just a little bit, but hey, we all know what day of the week is right there. All right, so that's really cute. All right, this is Valentine's Day, so I am going to put a little cupcake there to let us know that it's a special, special day. I think over here we need a couple of hearts. Let's put a Valentine's Day note right there. Okay, right, then up here, I think I want these lips. And for now, I think that's busy enough. That way it gives me some open space if I need to put anything else. So originally my first goal for the month was going to be getting 50 subscribers. But as of today on the second, I'm already at 47 subscribers. So that's definitely underselling myself. So down here, um, let's go ahead, so 40, seven right now let's go ahead and do let's go big let's say 75 subscribers i 
I guess I want to work on making sure my thumbnails are better. Like I keep forgetting to take pictures before I start writing in the planner. And so let's just put improved thumbnails. And for those of you that don't know, the thumbnail is the picture that you guys see that you click on to watch the video. So improve thumbnails. There we go. And then the other thing I want to improve, I want to work on my lettering, my handwriting, my lettering. I really wish I could do like calligraphy, but let's face it, I can't. So these are the three goals. I want to hit 75 subs. I want to improve my thumbnails so that more people are clicking on my videos. And then I want to work on my lettering. Um, let's put lettering and handwriting. So I think there you have it. This is my content planning for planning with Jamie for the month of February. This is what you can kind of expect from me throughout the month. Like I said, sometimes if like, let's say sickness or, you know, schedule gets changed up and stuff, I might not be able to get the video out on the day that it looks like it's going to be, but this is definitely my goal. And I really love how this spread turned out. So let me know down below, like I said, what day of the week works best for you and what time of the day are you most apt to end up watching the videos. All right, until next time, bye.